Alright. Greetings, brother and sister. Greetings, brothers and sisters. I am Brother John Spence, back at you for the first time in the past month. We've been at least well over three weeks, almost four weeks, so um, it's been about a month since last time I got on here, and I do apologize for the uh, slow time period of making, you know, since I made my last video, <coughs> sleep though. excuse me. Since I uploaded the last video barely a month ago. Sometimes my perception of time has been well at least over three weeks now. Since all this rioting took place, still in this so-called phase two of quarantine America, COVID-19 pandemic, pandemic, in the Gregorian year of 2020, right here in your daughter Babylon America, <clears throat> right here in the North Country, also known as North America, in this Western Hemisphere, within these last of last days of judgment in the earth and fulfillment of prophecy that we're all witnessing you know, in these last days. We'll take a little time to give thanks and praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Jah, Rastafar, I, the I, Selassie, I, Tony, I, Yeshua, I, Moshia, I. Seven day Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom, Summer Salam. It's been a lot today. Crazy job. Rastafari. Yai, Slash Yai. One true connection in the name of the sun. One true Father of creation. <clears throat> the one true omnipotence, Father, or Yahweh, Elohim, Mosajah, our living Allahim, our living Elohim, of true ethnic, the true spiritual Israel, of all nations, and that same true core body of Messiah, which is that true core body of Christ. The true core body of Christ, not uh, those who say they are of that same body, or say they are of the faith, not just those majority who call themselves so-called so-called believers, so-called Christians, but the true bread to Christian, the true set apart Nazarenes, who are also pre-Constantine Christians, below true Orthodox Christians. Vanta Christian and connection with true ethnic and true spiritual Israel, the true body of Christ, the true body of Mashiach, as we see in the Hebrew for Messiah, is is true Israel, true ethnic and true spiritual Israel. We know our true identity according to scriptures, even those of I even those of I and I of the righteous Gentiles from the European nations, being uh, Irish, white, American. <clears throat> mixed in with probably other uh, Sicilian, maybe a little English and Sicilian, and, as well as Irish. My uh, mother's side, I was told, my great, 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 at least three greats, two or three greats, <clears throat> full blood Cherokee. So you look at me, I'm, I'm mostly Irish, claim Irish, but a lot of us other nations have an integration of Native Indian and, and Cherokee you know, in, in our blood, and sometimes too many uh, so-called white people down here in the south, below the uh, Dixie Mason line in the east coast of America, here in Daughter Babylon, like to say, oh, I have Indian in me, I got lots of Native Indian in me, but you know, they're like little, if they have anything at all, probably a little, a little bit of uh, something, maybe a little sliver of, a, of Cherokee blood or Blackfoot. They're great, 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 great. Maybe somewhere that doesn't make them Native Indian. Whether it comes on their so-called biological father's side or mother's side. But we're at the uh, end of June, the month of June 2020, according to the Babylonian or Gregorian calendar. And a lot has happened. I wanted to put out this first video before I get into the Torah portion reading. 
episode of this weekly tour abortion study, reading and feeding. Because <clears throat> there's only one truth. You know, there's only one people. We're all one blood when it comes down to it. We're all, as, as, as the human race, so-called black, white, brown, yellow, ethnic, Hebrew, Jew, or Gentile, according to flesh and blood, or so-called lineage, or so-called race. <clears throat> we're all one human race. And on top of that, we're all essentially African. I said it. I'll say it again. We're all essentially African. Because Ha-Adam, or the original man, Adam, Ha-Adam and Havat, or Adam and Eve, go back to the source within Mother Africa, the ancient land of Kush, Ethiopia, in that region amongst the uh, Euphrates, Tigris, as it is written in the uh, first couple chapters of Genesis, right there in the foundation of Bereshit. Or Genesis within the Torah, within the Bible, going back to the roots of creation. So essentially, we're all African. There's a reason you get people as fair skinned as I am, being uh, of European descent as well, Irish, white. I guess some people say uh, when you look at the lineage of you know Shem, Ham, and Japheth, or Japheth, Japheth, as some people some people pronounce. The descendants of uh, Noah, the great prophet, and uh, also a descendant of Ha Adam, the first man and woman, Adam and you know, Ha Adam and Havat, or Adam and Eve. We have that great prophet Enoch, you know, going down to Methuselah, and then Noah. The story of Noah, Noah's Ark. He was instructed by ha Allahim or Elohim through his angels and through the Ruach at his time as a great prophet and a great messenger. To build this great gigantic ark, this great 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 gigantic boat that was supposed to, you know, carry two of each breed of animal in that portion of the earth. This great gigantic boat or ship called an ark. That prophetical preservation of the human race, you know, from that African seed. Essentially, we're all Africans. The Senates and sons of Noah. Shem, Ham, and uh, Japheth, or Japheth. They're still Africans. And the original melanated people, whether you, some say it's Asiatic or, you know, Eastern, it's, it's, it's the African. And more particularly, and more particular, you know, of Kush, of Ethiopia. But once again, the reason you get people within the human race, different so-called races and colors of people <clears throat> of the Gentile nations, according to flesh and blood, who are also more fair-skinned like me, is because of uh, evolution. Not the kind of evolution they teach in these uh, elementary schools and so-called middle schools, high schools, and even, even in these so-called colleges and these universities out here in Babylon. <clears throat> they teach about the evolution from monkey or ape to man. That's complete BS. Sometimes it's cool to entertain the theories to, to a certain level, but it's, it's BS, for lack of better words. Man, the only true evolution, because you would see an ongoing process of that happening, even from our, our present state as, as so-called human beings or homo sapiens. You don't see that. With the, with, you still have monkeys. You still have different types of apes different types of other mammals, the animal kingdom. So the proper evolution would be the different shades of skin tone, lack of melanin, because we all have melanin, even even my fair skin, Irish, American uh, self. I don't like to say, I don't like to say American, you know, living in Babylon, but you know, even I have some melanin. And actually, to be honest with you, <clears throat> Not to sound funny or try to joke, but I, I do actually get an orange tan in the summertime when it's uh, after I get burned once or twice. You know, get kind of a, I can sort of, <laughs> I can sort of get uh, you know, brown on my arms and somewhat, you know, on my face. You know, I get a little color. You know, perhaps it was the 
Sicilian side through my grandpa's side or from that one little sliver of the uh, great, great, two or three greats ago, great grandmother, full blood Cherokee. I'm just joking. Now, even all, even the most fair skin of all colors of people, Asian, so-called Caucasian, as well as uh, so-called Africans, black people, Hispanics, Native Indians, other, you know, other, um, in India, those, you know, other types of Indians from the, um, you know, far east. We all bleed the same color. We all have melanin to some degree. So there's more darker skinned people like in India and the heart of Africa. So, so we know as black people have more melanated skin. Hispanics have more darker brown melanated skin. skin. More melanated skin. You know? And the reason you have ones that get evolved to be or devolve, it's not really an evolve, you might say default or whatever, because, you know, it's better to have, I mean, it's better to have a little color, you know, than be fair skin, you get burned up more by the sun, but it's an evolution according to the environment, you know, like I say, a lot of us, descendants of Shem, and maybe Japheth, they, they uh, migrated to northern regions of the earth, migrated in caves and colder climates, with less sun, more, you know, more rainy weather, cloudy weather, like you see in Seattle, mixed in with like some of the ice ages. Multiple reasons that cause that, uh, you could say, evolution process. You know, another evolution process would be, would be to become even darker with descendants of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, descendants of Ha'adam, the first Africans, dwelling in the, the, the equator of the earth becoming darker. That's also a type of ev evolution or evolution according to your geographical climate. You see what I'm saying? So we're all essentially Africans as humans. A lot of people oppose that because of their opposition to what we know as actual Africans today, like black people and melanated peoples, you know, from the original source that have maintained the features of the original man, for the most part, Afrocentric culture and features. Um, but this is the fact, you know, when we, when we are spiritual, born again through the Most High Jah, regardless of what skin color or so-called race we are, Hebrew, Israelite, Jew or Gentile, according to lineage, according to flesh and blood, beyond, beyond those boundaries, when we become born again through the Most High Jah, our Creator, through the King of Kings in Christ, Justice, Yeshua, through Yahushua, the Messiah, as our Lord and Savior and advocate to Yahweh Jah, the Father, our Elohim. We become more aware of these things. Like, uh, like the uh, steel pulse, uh, steel pulse on, excuse me. Like the steel pulse, uh, you know, chant the psalm a day, and then, um, you know, the King James Bible, this y'all version, not the King James version. You know, closer to God, we Africans. I was well around the red, gold, black, and green. You know, so Marcus say, you know, it's like about uh, closer to God, we're all Africans. You know, we, we can digest that mentally, spiritually, into our hearts. And so, but why is there why is there a prejudice towards uh, so called black people all over the world, right there in the heartland of Mother Africa, Ethiopia? Little East, why is, there, why is there more of a prejudice towards those of more Afro-Shemitic blood, blood lineage? Not just a Hamitic bloodline, but Afro-Shemitic from the heartland of Ethiopia, parts of the Middle East. In North America, your so-called black people, African-Americans, uh, African West Indians of the Southern Kingdom so-called African black people and descendants of slaves, as well as uh, other Hispanic, a lot of Hispanic and so-called native Indian, you know, cultures of the, of the Northern Kingdom, according to lineage, ethnic Hebrew Israelites of the once lost but now found tribes of true ethnic Israel, according to flesh and blood, according to lineage, because that is relevant at the same time. There is a covenant Yahweh, Jehovah made with his own people, the bloodline or the uh, physical bloodline descendants of the prophet Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, were known 
in the modern day Christian world as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob of Israel. But, you know, there is another fold. You know, even in Old Covenant times, through Yah's grace or through Hashem's grace, there was the righteous Gentiles grafted in the sojourners as converted Israelites spiritually. It was time to meditate on that. Now, how much more through renewed covenant times, through Messiah, through Christ, not Antichrist, Jesus, but the true Christ, Jesus, or Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and I, Black Woman Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, the true Messiah and the true Savior in the first advent. I'll come again with his majesty, the Moshiach ben Davi, the second advent, second coming, second incarnation, through his majesty, Kanamawi, Hali, Selassie, I, yeah. The physical body, the metaphysical body is, is a spiritual temple with a very spiritual metaphysical temple in the lightness of the Most High, as above, so below. That is universal. That's beyond the boundaries of so-called lineage or skin color or so-called race and we have <clears throat> true knowledge of elohim true knowledge of self but also being born again or begotten again through yah's grace through hashem's grace and fulfillment of christ christ justice yeshua and even more so through the king of kings in Jesus christos yeshua hamashiach But uh, why this prejudice and hatred towards, let's just start with the Southern Kingdom, so many so-called black people, to attack on so-called so black males, so-called African-American black males here in the North Country, here in the core of daughter Babylon, also a lot in the West Indies, but you know, here in the North Country of the Jehudaites, ethnic, ethnic, uh, Israelites from Judah, when you have more of a racial melting pot of white people, black people, Hispanic, Latino, Latina, Asian, Native Indian, but I did say Asian as well as uh, people from, I want to say immigrants, people from all other nations and different races, but we're immigrants too. A lot of my... Um, European white Irish ancestors came over here as uh, indentured servants or like so-called freedom. Like, oh, okay, we get we get religious freedom from from Britain. That's a good thing, you know, which it, which it, which it was a good thing. So we come over here, and then once we get over here on so-called American soil, ah, oh, we got you. No, really, you're 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 called to be in servitude, even some flat-out slavery. On American soil, we can go back to European history, and you have your Irish slaves, Scottish slaves, and some, you know, poor English, and Italian, and Dutch. We we have we have that going on, you know, we have that going on, you know. But to compare that to the multitude of brutal slavery of the so-called African slaves and African Americans, they were treated like cattle the whole time until things got a little better. They were still treated terrible. And, but it was on the, the backs of African slaves right here in North America. That, and, and there were some European slaves, too. There were some Irish slaves. Could have been a couple of my ancestors in the mix. You know, it could have been there were Scottish. There, were, there was Italian slaves. There was different types of even some poor English slaves. But the majority of slaves that were treated the worst were obviously African-Americans treated like animals. And downpressed for so long. And, and they even tried to kill them off. Just like the native Indians of or so-called native Indians of the northern tribe, the Gadites, the Reubenites, as all this this evil process, or this evil agenda that's been there from day one, as it is today, to kill the natural sea people. Because HaSatan, and the fallen angels, the powers that be, the satanic forces in the earth, and even the powers that be within this whole wicked nation, due to the hands of white supremacy, to the hands of devils in the flesh, have an agenda always had an agenda and so we've got to think about you know since up in my last video right right before uh shabbat uh you know the day of pentecost 
the last uh, Moed or feast we celebrated just a few weeks ago. We've got to think uh, all this stuff started popping off just a few days before that. It was the death of George Floyd. Terrible thing that happened to even just see that on TV every time they show reruns of the same clips. Beyond horrible. Of course, it had me pumped up. It has all these people rightfully pumped up and rightfully agitated. But then we got a question. I'm not going to say, is it real? Is it not real? Our prayers and our thoughts go out to their family first and foremost every time. You know, we got to assume that it's. But, you know, I, I see other. In the past uh, month or in the past few weeks, I've seen other camps of. Uh, Hebrew Israelites, like the, the the elder from the GOCC, the Gathering of Christ Church, show still video clips of George Floyd. I guess in the past year, the past past couple of, couple of years, has a tattoo, like an Illuminati Freemason tattoo on his chest, a two headed eagle and all this stuff. So that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean that he wasn't actually killed and murdered by the hands of an evil, careless racist white police officer, a victim, obvious victim of police brutality and, and wickedness and uh, white supremacy. Got ev everyone rioting, setting buildings on fire right there, in not just uh, Minneapolis, but all, all over the world, New York City, LA, Atlanta, even right here in my hometown of Roanoke, Virginia, here in Southwest Virginia, this little city called Roanoke, there was a little something going on people a group of people started rioting and trying to get into the best buy they tried they tried to riot and, and uh, get into the best buy they were i guess arrested and chased off by the police there was a, a group of protesters of of all races downtown marching and somebody threw a, a roman candle or some kind of firework at a big group of police officers with their shields and you know, like wow, that's pretty intense. Like right here, my hometown. I live in a small city, but it's a pretty, pretty good sized town. When you consider Roanoke County, Roanoke City, Salem, Benton, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty spread out, good sized town, decent population. But it's a small city. But even in Roanoke, there's some stuff going on. People still protesting. And I myself, <clears throat> eventually after a week or so, I joined a uh, peaceful protest with my lady. Pam and uh, a couple of her her good friends and I was happy and still am happy and glad to be a to be a part of that to have been a part of that. It was on a so-called Sunday, so-called first day of a new week after Shabbat, and I was able to work my little work my little shift at uh, All Sports as a, a full-time prep cook, finish up the prep list on a hot hot beautiful day. I guess it was still spring just a few weeks ago, but now it's summertime. But, you know, just approaching approaching the summertime, you know, with good vibes and getting some sunshine and went to my little local bar. I was passing Pam and her two friends and said, hey, come join us. So I went to give a little basket of fries, something to eat, and came back. And there's these an average peaceful protest of people holding up signs, you know, Black Lives Matter and racism. Those are good messages that should be put out. Of course, you know, we should, of course, black lives matter. And of course, all lives matter, with that being said. And of course, we should end racism. All genuine good messages that we should be protesting, whether it's a so-called peaceful protest or... Now, how do I feel about the, the rioting? Well, in the beginning, after the first couple days, when it started popping off, I guess... I don't know. I look back and even to this very second right now as I speak, I, I have mixed feelings about it because it, it's sad when it really comes down to it. It's kind of sad on a certain scale that every time this kind of thing happens and keeps happening, that's the thing. That's why on, on one level, on one basic level, I understand 100 percent why people are rightfully pissed off. They've been pissed off just like they were rightfully pissed off. Even myself, rightfully pissed off. A lot of good friends of mine that live around the Roanoke area that are activists that I love and respect on so many different levels, you know, that are out there protesting, whether it's aggressive protesting or peaceful protesting, it's like rightful protesting about the right kind of thing, you know. I joined one of my, my, my good friends' protests uh, a couple years back to end jail deaths. There's a lot of mysterious jail deaths happening right here in Roanoke City, downtown Roanoke City Jail. You know, we had 
rest in peace, uh, Keontae Spencer. You know, his name has come up in the past couple of weeks because all this revolutionary stuff take, taking place over the far ends of the earth, not just right here in, in America, not just right here in the core of daughter Babylon, but all across the earth, all these major cities in Europe and different countries protesting. Because they're looking at, and a lot of this is controlled by the media. It is controlled by the, the same mainstream media at the same time. There's no doubt about that. So the Hasatan, Satan, and the powers that be in these last of last days, they, 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 they're hitting us hard in these days of judgment. They're hitting us hard with uh, propaganda, combination of actual facts and real news and evidence mixed in with lies and propaganda to make it that much more confusing and to divide and continue to divide and conquer the people. And the majority of sheep will sad to say, that's why they do it because it works for them. Sad to say. Sad but true, nothing new. But the thing that is new is, is, is they're hitting this from all different angles at one time. I mean, we're still dealing with this so-called pandemic, pandemic stuff going on. And there is actual pestilence out there through judgment, through Yah's judgment in the earth. There's no doubt about that. I've been seeing that from day one. I'm still saying that now. But is it? it it's definitely over-commercialized. At the same time, it's, it's overhyped up big time, not even just a little bit, not even just big time, like tremendously beyond a, uh, beyond proportion, beyond ridiculous. And so that's how they can also divide and conquer, because you actually, for example, let me, let me make this simple little parallel to the uh, shootings. All the, the massive uh, shootings that have taken place since Virginia Tech Back in, what was that, 2007? It was beyond horrible, man. That actually took place. That was an actual shooting. People were shot and murdered. The kid was was programmed, probably, or just full of some demonic spirit, possessed. Either way, maybe a combination of both. But that was a terrible thing that, that took place. You know, He was shot or took his own life. A lot of these so-called shooters are like under some kind of mind control. With this MK Ultra or, or actual demonic spirit. Or once again, a combination of both, and they end up a lot of times kill themselves, you know. But there's these actual shootings that have taken place at movie theaters and so-called Christian churches in the past recent couple of years at so-called Jewish synagogues and actual Jewish synagogues. It's terrible, beyond terrible, you know. So-called Islamic mosques, people, so-called white supremacists shooting up mosques out there in New Zealand these past couple of years, beyond horrible, you know? We can't be biased when it comes to religion, politics. That's how they separate us. Rastafari is a way of life. It's a true liberty, not a religion. Or a true fulfilled spiritual Israelite consciousness through true Christ consciousness. It's meant to be set apart. We're meant to be set apart. It's a way of life, not a religion. And closer to Ha'alohim, we are you know who we are. We're all essentially Africans. I'm also I also take a a little righteous pride in being European Irish, you know, being a, a, of Irish descent. Yeah, I take a lot of pride in my my Irish and European roots, descending down from those ancestors and those ancestors and those going back to Africa. We're just all essentially Africans when it comes down to it. That's just the end of it. I mean, once again, well, why why such a hatred towards a certain group of people? Because a certain group of people. The black people and the brown people, Hispanic, Native Indians. Right now, it seems like more so black males, even some black females are more targeted of so-called African-American descent of Judah, of ethnic Judah and a lot of West Indians in the Caribbean, of Levi, Benjamin, of the, of, the, of the Southern Kingdom, of ethnic Israel. They're being targeted more so. Why? Because that's who they are. It's Afro-Shemitic roots, deeper Afro-Shemitic roots. And it's terrible. It's beyond horrible. But see, going back to the shootings, okay, you, you have a few schools get shot up, churches and all this stuff. And then they mix it in with propaganda, with actors and places that, that they say got shot up, but there was no real shooting. You mix that 50-50, <clears throat> that's been going on, sad but true. When they actually make sacrifices, there's a satanic Illuminati kind of sacrifice that you see that you're witnessing on the media. It, cre it creates more confusion when you actually have real shootings out there. It's like pestilence. You have a man-made uh, virus 
called the coronavirus or COVID-19 that was created in the lab actually put out there as a little pestilence on a much broader perspective the Most High Yahweh or the Most High Jah allows that to happen as a manifestation of his judgment in the earth but then the, the powers that be <clears throat> the mainstream media of, or satanic media of Babylon exaggerates and hypes it up as a form of control once again in a much broader perspective the Most High allows these things to manifest as a manifestation of his judgment and also to as a blessing in the skies through an extension of his love and his grace to take away the distractions, to remove some of the distractions in this modern day society <clears throat> so that we can repent and begin to seek in the right direction, get our hearts right, get our minds right, and really look around us and say, hey, what's going on here? What's the real meaning of life? Why am I here? What's my true purpose in life? And a lot of people have have begun to seek in the past three or four months. They begin seeking in the right direction and have repented and turned to the light. Hallelujah. Beautiful thing. But the majority have not. Sad to say. You know, now you see the manifestation of more judgments and rise of tension, political tension, racism rising up on both sides, police brutality. Anger towards the police, and a lot of it's righteous anger towards the police that I could even side with. But as a wise man, and as a true man of Elohim, I know it's not all police. I might say it's most, but it's, it's not all. There's a lot of good police officers out there that do their job well, that risk their lives <clears throat> for their underpaid, they risk their lives, you know, to protect us. And a lot of times when we when we, we have to call the cops or call 911 and we need some we expect that we hope and pray that a good cop or a halfway decent police officer will come, you know, but there, there's too many crooked cops out there. That's the problem. There's too many wicked, crooked police officers and, and crooked cops out there abusing their authority. Or sometimes it makes people not even want to call the cops and, and they keep on shooting. And, and let's keep this, let's keep this out there for the record. Of course, people of all colors and all races, have been and still are victims of police brutality. Blacks, Hispanics, white white dudes out there, white people have been victimized by other white cops and cops of all different colors. Police brutality. No, there's no doubt about that. But who's being victimized the most? Who, as far as incar incarceration, excuse me. As far as incarceration, like go out to any any pen, any prison, any jailhouse out there, and you see people of all color, man. You see white dudes in the prison, black dudes, Asian, Hispanic. But uh, you see mostly so-called blacks and Hispanics. <clears throat> so when you begin to open your eyes to the obvious that the majority, you know, people of all colors have seen for many years now. But you look at the, you look at the uh, majority of black conscious and, you know, conscious people of other minorities whose families and their, their children's children has, have dealt with this for years as far as being victimized by white supremacy. This is why you have a, an outrage. This is why you have a justified, a lot of rightful outrages and justified protests in the earth right now as I speak. The deception is now Babylon's system and the powers that be of white supremacy, the real Satanists, the real devils. They use all these little actors and agents, you know, in the mix of actual real protesters and some actually looting. You know, it's sad that, it, that, that ones have to actually loot and cause a little bit a little bit of destruction for the first couple of days after these shootings takes place, just to just to get people's attention and not to not to lose any viewers and piss people off. But I kind of I see that side. I kind of support that to a degree. You know, burn and loot for a couple of days, shake shake some things up, get a little bit extra angsty and rowdy, and then Cool, cool down. Problem is a lot of a lot of cats didn't cool down after the first couple of days. In the first week, they just still like trying to <clears throat> do what they they show them on TV. These actors and agents pretending to be uh, Antifa, pretending to be you know this George Soros funded Babylonian funded nonsense. Well, they they're mocking the revolution. They're mocking us real true anarchists and revolutionaries and and and, and true activists out there. They're they're, they're mocking the revolution. By getting these little actors and agents to go out and set buildings on fire and graffiti and, and blame it on black people or blame it on Hispanic or minorities. So what it's doing, other agents, and then Donald Trump, who plays the devil's advocate of the same media, 
saying, oh, the media is against him, but really, and, and it is, but it's not, but it is. The media is against him, but then the whole Fox News thing, it's all part of the same media. He's the devil's advocate of the media, divide and conquer. You gotta choose, you've gotta choose a square when it comes to politics or so-called politics. You know, you gotta choose a square, Republican, Democrat. And so, you know, I think that uh, this is kind of where this is, this whole thing is playing out really in the politics. It's emo politics, because there's people of all colors on both sides. But um, we gotta wake up, man. They're, they're, they're mocking the revolution. They're using this as mind control to get people stirred up. We're at the point in 2020. We just gotta open our eyes. You gotta open your third eye 100% through the Christ mind, through the, the Ruach Hakodesh. Tap into that iron, so that that true uh, Holy Spirit. We also say in the Amhar, that Wumpus Kadus, that the Holy Spirit, that iron within, to the Christ mind, open your third eye 100%, not just partially, open that third eye all the way up, see that true Christ mind, the King of the King of Christ, that mind of Moshiach, see what's going on. They're trying to set people up for the slaughter, people of all races that want to be, that want to stand up for. You know, people's rights, as we all should, but they want to do it in a physical way, not spiritual. They don't elevate to those higher, those higher degrees that we would call not to wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. But that's the deception. Get all these, not just regular police officers, get actors, get a, uh, pull out the martial law, the men in black with the guns and the clubs and the shields, and they're all geared up in helmets. And get some of these Antifa posers or agents in there and, and get actual people of all colors, especially so-called black people, in the in the mix in these inner cities. Boom, well, one day they just whipping out the guns. When when Donald Trump, they use Donald Trump as a puppet once again to say, hey, he starts flapping his guns and I need more force, you're being weak. You be you need more force and more strength and get all the police amped up and then it's just a battle, it's a blood fest. When the true way to end the oppression of the powers that be, the Satanists, and even white supremacy and police brutality, to really get these devils off of your, your back, or as Al Sharpton said on TV a few weeks ago, to get that man's knee off of your neck, metaphorically speaking, or figuratively speaking, you have to repent, especially if you're of that seed people, so-called black people in America, West Indian, people in the, people in the West Indies, so-called African and black people you need to recognize also yes you're africans but you're also of the people of israel the seed people the ethnic hebrew israelites you know the tribe of judah benjamin and levi you need to repent and turn back to yahweh turn back to the most high yahweh elohim turn back to the, the, the one true elohim through the king of kings in christ Jesus yeshua i and i black lord and savior not not antichrist jesus but I and I, Black Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, our true Lord and Savior in, in the first advent, the true Messiah in the first advent. He is our atonement, our high priest and advocate to our omnipotent creator, our heavenly father. He is the way, the truth and the life and, and, and the true Christ, the true Messiah is to, is to go back to the foundation of Jah's commandments, to love and keep Jah's commands and be set apart. It goes back to the foundation of the Orit or the Torah within the Bible, within this great book of life. This great book of life, right here, the scriptures, the Jah word. You know, so we have to, as it says in Revelation chapter 17, or excuse me, Salika, Revelation. 12 verse 17 and the dragon was enraged the dragon was enraged with all the people and the people of israel both ethnic and spiritual israel is the woman in this verse and the dragon was enraged with the woman and he went to fight with the remnants of her seed those guarding both the ethnic and spiritual seed 
those guarding the commands of Elohim, commandments of the Most High God, Yahweh, Jehovah, and possessing the witness of Yahshua, the Messiah, the true testimony of, of Jesus Christ. Not Antichrist, Jesus, but the true Christ, Jesus, Yeshua. Woolly haired, skin of bronze. We look at his majesty, Hadi Selassie, his features being of bronze, hair of wool like a sheep, like the lamb, like the, like the sacrificial lamb in the first advent, only, only to come back. Worthy to receive might is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. As we properly say in that deeper Afro Semitic roots, going back to the Ethiopic or the uh, Roland Hart tongue. <clears throat> More and Bessas in the Geta Yehuda. See the lion of the tribe of Judah is worthy to open the book of the seven seals because he has conquered. See a lot.